Here we have a puzzle called the tennis player from the great book of puzzles and teachers by George Summers and solutions by me, my name is Abhishek Lapande. So let's go to it. Two women, two women, uh, Alice and Carol, and two men, Brian and David, are athletes. One is a swimmer, second is a skater, third is a gymnast, fourth is a tennis player. On a day, they were seated around a square table. A square table. This is a classic case of uh, sitting arrangement. So, let us say this is the square table. Okay. The swimmer sat on Alice's left. The thing is, we don't know where is anyone sitting. So, we need to, in these kind of questions, sitting arrangement, we need to take one standard frame of reference. So, what if I start from Alice? Let us say Alice is sitting over here. Okay. And... In the real puzzle, it was not shown that they were looking towards center of table or away from the table. Normally, normally when it's not given, we assume it to be the people are looking towards the center of the table. And that is important because if you look at the center, so my left is this, right is this. But if I look like this, you know, then my left is this, right is this. So that is how we need to understand. There is Alice looking towards center of table. So Alice's left will be this. Right will be this. So this is how I can imagine myself to be Alice. My left and to my right. So well, swimmer sat on Alice's left. So my left, my right. I am Alice. My left is a swimmer. Alright. This is how we can start. You know, the first thing. Okay. Now it says, Gymnast sat across from Brian. Gymnast sat across from Brian. So we are sure one, about one thing. That this can't be gymnast. This can be Brian, obviously. And this can't be Brian. This can be gymnast if Brian is here. So, we have, you know, different uh, possibilities. What if I assume this is, so I'll just take blue ink now. That's an assumption. Let's say this is Brian. Alice and Swimmer are determined. This is a position. This is the Brian. Then gymnast must be sitting over here. Across Brian. All right. Also, this is one of the other, other possibility as well. If I take uh, in color green, what if this is Brian? Then Alice must be gymnast. Okay, so we have yellow is sure. Uh, other inks which I'll be using here will be possibilities. From second statement, we got these two possibilities. Obviously, Brian cannot be sitting over here. If Brian is here, then this must be gymnast and we know that here we have a swimmer and Brian cannot be here. Okay, perfect. Third statement, Carol and David sit next to each other. Carol and David sit next to each other. Perfect. So, I'm taking blue color now. If this is Brian, this is Alice and Carol and David must be, either Carol will be sitting over here and David will be sitting over here. Or, David is sitting over here and Carol is sitting over here. So this is for the centralization. Carol, David, David, Carol. Okay. If Brian is there, so I took the blue ink. If Brian is sitting over here, the green ink, and Carol and David must be sitting next to each other. Brian is here, Alice is here, Carol would be across, not next. That means the green case is wrong. Wow. This is what happens in logical reasoning. Green is definitely wrong. <laughs> if green is wrong, that means blue is right. So Brian is here, Gymnast is here. Brian is a swimmer. Gymnast must be David or Keller, we don't know. Let's go ahead. Blue is right. A woman, a woman sat on the skater's left. Here we have a gymnast. Here we have a swimmer. Skater can be either Alice, or it can be the person sitting over here. We're not sure here. Okay. And woman is sitting on the skater's left. So, if this is, if Alice is the skater, her left is Brian. Brian. And Brian is a, Brian is a man. Brian is a man. So, definitely Alice is not the skater. So, a skater can be this. This is the skater. And a woman is sitting to the skater's net. So, she is sitting over here. Woman is here. So, woman is David or, David or Carol. 
Carol is a woman, David is a man. That means that we can't have David sitting over here. That means we can't have David sitting over here and Carol sitting over here. That's the correct statement. That's the correct um, arrangement. So now if you look at this, Swimmer sat on Alice's left, that is true, and is Brian. Jinnah sat across from Brian, that is Jinnah, that is Carol. Carol David sat next to each other, that is true. And women sat on Skater's left, Skater's left. So, Skater must be David. If David is a Skater, woman is Carol. So the only person remaining, the only sport remaining is Tess, which must be going to Alice. And that is what the question is. Who is the tennis player? It must be Alice. An easy peasy puzzle, but at the very same time, it also gives you enough insight into how to look at arrangement based logical puzzles. Thank you.